Awesome. Uh, I'm super excited to be part of the Vikings family now. Um, I'm very thankful that Coach Zimmer and Coach Perini um, have been in contact and, and ended up taking a shot on me in the fifth round. Uh, it's a great opportunity for me to get into a system, uh, learn from some veteran players along playing aside some really great outstanding young players. So I'm very thankful for the opportunity and I'm very thankful to be here. Thanks, Zach. We'll start with Ben and then Chris. And Zach, just wanted to ask a little bit about your background. Uh, I'm sure it's a question you've gotten a lot, but having punted and, and played tight end through college, what was that like and, and how many teams uh, looked at you as a possible punter? Um, not many teams mentioned punter just because my impact at tight end later in my career in college. Uh, but, man, it was great for me to get on the field early and, and kind of see the field, the game from a distance, being on the field only for fourth downs. Uh, and then slowly incorporating myself into the offense and getting more and more playing time at tight end. Uh, ultimately, by my redshirt junior year, I was on the field all four downs every game. Um, so it allowed me to have a different perspective of, of the game, kind of see things for, for all four downs. I know some guys uh, don't really understand some of the field position things at the level we were playing. Uh, so it just gave me a, a better understanding overall, um, playing two different positions and having uh, as much impact in each position. So, so just to clarify, Zach, are the Vikings going to look at you at all as a punter or are you exclusively a tight end with Minnesota? Um, right now, my main focus is tight end. Punting is in my back pocket. Uh, I was drafted as tight end. I, I have full intention on being in the tight end room and, and being involved early. Um, it's, it's definitely something in my back pocket, having experience uh, in the specialist group. Uh, uh, I have uh, okay skills at long snapping. Uh, I'd say average long snapping skills and place holding skills. Uh, I can make an impact there as a backup. Um, that's that's kind of how I'm using that. Um, but main focus is tied in early on and, and, and staying focused there. Just as a follow, how do you look at the opportunity at tight end with the Vikings? I mean, obviously, Kyle Rudolph was released and then Hale Hentges is retired. So looks like there's a chance they need some depth there. Um, yes, it's a great young room with Irv. Um, and the other two guys, uh, it, it'll be a great opportunity for me to get in and learn. I know one of, I think Brandon's a smaller school guy. It'll be a great opportunity to just having somebody who's been through uh, a similar path coming from a small school, uh, a lot of learning points. And like I said, um, it even expands further than the receiving, the tight end room, the receiving group um, is outstanding with the veteran uh, Adam Thielen uh, and the, the young Al Stark outstanding start in Justin Jefferson. It'll be a great learning opportunity for me as a player. I'll go with David and Courtney. Hey, uh, Zach, I'm just wondering when the NFL kind of became on your radar at Central Missouri and you know what your aspirations were kind of when your college career started. Um, coming in as a punter early, I had a lot of impact for the team, uh, being able to be uh, an all-conference punter. It kind of started the gears turning for punter. Uh, but as I got more involved at tight end, uh, seeing the opportunities that were brought for players ahead of me, like Seth Bear, first-team All-American I played behind it, uh, my redshirt sophomore year, uh, he got a couple opportunities to try out for teams. Um, and, and just seeing preseason rankings after my 2019 season, uh, just – just knowing I had the opportunity to possibly go undrafted and, and get an opportunity to play, uh, play for an organization. That was enough for me. That was enough for me to take the chance and, and leave school early, uh, focus on me as a professional athlete and uh, put the work in in the areas that I felt needed. Um, I mean, uh, I would say to answer your question fully, uh, after my redshirt junior year, I had a lot of time to uh, think and go over the situation and really fill out my uh, opportunities and the outcomes and uh, I feel like I made the best decision in focusing on myself because I've made a lot of improvements as an athlete uh, so far, and uh, I'm excited to be part of the Minnesota Vikings. Did you already graduate? Or are you about to? This I, grad I graduated in December of 2020 with a sport management uh, degree and a business administration minor. Jack, how did you get into punting? Did you play soccer like early <laughs> on, or how did that fun, happen? Fun story. Uh, I was a punter and kicker and youth football. I, I didn't take it too seriously just because it was a position I fulfilled. I had a natural kicking ability, um, but it, I didn't become uh, like the starting punter until my sophomore year where JV kid kind of got it into a situation where 
uh, we need somebody to step up. Uh, coach asked me if I if I kicked in the past. Uh, I told him yes. I ended up kicking a fifty a fifty yarder and like a forty five yarder in the first three kicks. Uh, and from that day forward, I was the team's punter. Um, and, and just kind of grew into my niche in high school. We were a limited offense for a vertical threat tight end. I was tall and scrawny in high school, so I stayed in my lane with punting, and it ultimately got me to the Division two level in college. Well, Eric, and then Mark. Hey, Zach, uh, how much pride do you have being a, a D2 guy? You know, there's not a lot of D2 guys that, that get drafted, you know, much less make it to the NFL. And then do you know uh, Kyle Hinton at all from Washburn? Um, I played against him. Great player. Um, coming out as a D2 player, uh, you kind of got a notch on your shoulder. I mean, you understand you're not coming from the same uh, system, same opportunities as a Division One school with funding and just overall soundness of the program. Um, but you got to really take it into your own hands at the Division Two level if you want to succeed and be great. Uh, I know there's a lot of offseason work and uh, work I put in on my own time to be able to do the things I've achieved so far. Um, but it's not much of a difference other than uh, lack of talent. Um, you, you, you have the facilities in front of you and they might not be put in place for you to, to use them uh, as a system, but you can figure out your own formula uh, to succeed. And I feel like I ultimately was able to do that central. Hey Zach, can you describe what that situation was that led uh, to you going from JV to as a, as a sophomore and how scrawny were you and how much tight end did you end up playing at all in uh, high school? Uh, okay. The situation, um, once I started punting for the JV team, the coaches took notice to it. I dressed out for varsity, got a couple reps early as a sophomore going into my junior year. I became a starting punter. Uh, I was six, five, 190 something pounds, 90, 95 pounds my junior year and I got up to like 205 my senior year at six, six, my senior year, um, just really wasn't developed as an athlete. Uh, I did not fill out until I think my red shirt freshman year of college. I still am filling out <laughs> I, I just enough to play the position of tight end. Uh, but, uh, just, I'd say underdeveloped in high school. So, uh, punter came naturally with just having to catch the ball and kick it uh, and have immediate impact for our team. Lindsay and then Courtney. Hey, Zach, congratulations. i um, just wondering, you had mentioned, you know, even the prospect of being able to sign with an NFL team as an undrafted free agent was sort of enough for you or appealing to you. So just curious what this whole weekend has been like for you. Um, you know, were you anxiously waiting around? Have you been pretty calm about it? And I guess who have you spent the weekend with? Um, thank you for the congratulations. Uh, Going into it, I understood my situation being a late round guy, um, knowing my name could show up on the screen. Um, so it's been pretty low key with family and friends. Uh, we've been hanging out around uh, a family's building. Um, and we also threw kind of a party last night just to celebrate uh, the situation. It wasn't necessarily a draft party, but um, I got all my close family and friends together. We spent time together because ultimately that's what this weekend's about. Um, yeah, just been laying low, laying low. Uh, it's been, it's been great. I've been somewhat nervous today just because I, I knew my opportunity was approaching, um, before I was, I was very low key and laid back. Um, I'm just super ecstatic now to, to get the ball rolling, get in this, get in the building and, and start making an impact and learning as fast as I can. Zach, you said earlier, you're okay as a long snapper. Can you describe your long snapping skills and where you learn those and kind of how you were able to hone them? I got you. Uh, I would say they're mediocre, uh, to, to give you a better word. Uh, just being around long snapper as a punter, I've been around a handful of long snappers. I've, I've taken uh, over thousands of, of snaps and, and been around when other guys are learning. So I've been able to kind of pick up a, a couple key coaching points and fundamentals. So I feel like I, I have a strong basis to build off of if I was to really focus on it. Mm -hmm. And I guess just kind of a general question. A lot of times we hear about guys talk about the struggle and a lot of guys who come from big name division one programs who, you know, think they were never going to make it to this level. Obviously making it to the NFL is very hard, but like coming from division two is a completely different story. It's not like you have guys in your program more that more or less that, you know, you're looking up to who have been through the same process. A lot of guys play at the D2 level and then go on and, you know, work in finance or what have you. 
how have you been able to, I guess, through your journey and process that and realize like you've had an uphill battle, probably more than most this entire time and channel that to where you're a fifth round draft pick. It's not like you're an undrafted guy. They're taking a flyer on that. They legitimately drafted you. Um, that's a great question. Uh, just coming up into college, I understood my situation. I was there to get my degree and play football. Uh, I did not waste a lot of my time off the field uh, doing extracurricular activities. Um, so I, I had all my focus into school and football and ultimately just knew to better my situation. If I wanted to for football, I had to focus. Um, I was be able to surround myself uh, by a bunch of great guys that I was able to train with and work and, and push each other uh, day to day in the weight room, in the locker room, at practice and off season workouts in the classroom. Um, it's, it's, been an uphill battle, like you said, but just being able to constantly refocus myself and evaluate myself has ultimately been my best to, to grow. Um, on top of that, um, yeah, I, it, it's been quite a process so far, but I understand I'm just getting started. Uh, and for a team to take me in the fifth round uh, shows me the amount of trust and love they have for me as a player. Um, and it allowed me to give that back as soon as possible. I know Minnesota is a great team and, and they're on the cusp of having a, a really good playoff team. Um, and I, I hope I can make impact as soon as possible. Can we see your dog or what kind of dog do you have? Archie, Archie, come here. Yeah, it's a cocker and poodle, sorry. He just ran up in here. I thought I, I thought I was away in the corner of the building. It's all good. He went downstairs. So. Any final questions for Zach or Archie? All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Zach.